Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It's Trey, and let's talk about Zoe 102. I mean, it happened. It it it, it absolutely happened. Um, and I watched it again. It happened, and I watched it. But holy crap, what the hell happened? Like. I don't know. I just feel like, okay, I understand iCarly Revival Series was successful. I get it. I, I do get it. I get it. Um, but the Zoe 102 movie, the problem with the, the Zoe 102 movie is it had nothing to say about Zoe. And that's the problem. That is the problem when you're bringing back a movie, when you're bringing back characters and the main character you don't have anything to say about the main character at all really you know what i'm saying so basically zoe is this executive producer um part of this popular reality show um don't really care what the name of the reality show love recharge i believe and she you know um she's dealing with these um these contestants one of them is really stupid, and I and when I tell you when I'm talking about stupid, I'm talking about like retarded stupid to the point where I'm just like, all right, can't nobody be this goddamn retarded. But it seems like people are retarded. Um, but anyway, um, Zoe thinking that she was gonna get this big promotion for all her hard work on the show, and nothing, she get overlooked. So they trying to do this whole, well, she's a female. Nobody gives a damn about her opinion or whatever. But uh, let, let's be honest. Um, it, it just doesn't work with this time period. Um, honestly, because there's so many um, executive producers um, who are females and producers that are female that really are very successful when it comes to a lot of the reality shows. So I, I just, mm, it, it was just kind of hard to believe that she was that she was overlooked a lot um after giving so many ideas she even had one idea she said her idea out loud and then nobody heard apparently nobody heard her but then when the when the loser guy say it craig or greg or something like that says it then they're like oh my god that's so smart like no come on now get, get out of here with that shit it, it was so unbelievable and apparently, instead of picking up where, uh, I mean, like, if you were going to give me a Zoe 102 thing, then what I would have, what, what I would have expected is that Zoe and Chase are together. Period. Zoe and Chase are together. They might be um, in the middle of having some kids, or you know what I'm saying. What I, you know what I mean. Like when I tell you, nothing went nowhere. When I tell you nothing went nowhere for Zoe and Chase at the end of season four of Zoe 101, yeah, that's that's ridiculous. Because if that's the case, you might as well have brought back fuck. You might as well have brought back Austin Butler and have it where um instead Zoe changed her mind with Chase and got with Austin. But then their relationship after having some kids with him, their, their relationship kind of fell in and you know, um Zoe, I mean, Quinn and Logan are getting married, and, you know, um, after they got divorced or something like that, you know, she's showing up for Quinn because she's her, her, her maid of honor or something like that. You know, shenanigans ensue, she run, runs into Chase because they haven't seen each other in a long time or whatever and stuff like that. Chase kind of kind of have his own family as well, but things started to break up. I mean, well, not break up i would say like his wife maybe had died or something like that you know give it a good a good reason or something like that um instead of having this point where you know we're all in our 30s and we're like losers and we peaked in high school like don't get me wrong i'm not saying that that doesn't happen to people but it, it is kind of weird to bring back old properties from when i'm growing up and i'm like the same age as them and it feels like oh my god my life kind of sucks or whatever and stuff like that and don't get me wrong we all have those moments or whatever where we just feel like we not there but to have this thing where we go and read and, and hold on to 
high school, it's just kind of like, eh, I don't, I don't know, I don't know about all that, I, you know what I mean, like, um, is there things I would want to do different in my life, of course, of course, but I'm not going to hold on to a high school crush that, you know, you know what I'm saying, especially when you're, when you're a show, like, in real life, it's completely different than when you're in a show that was the whole build-up between these characters, just to like, oh, it, 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 didn't, it didn't really work out. So anyway, that's not the here nor there. Um, Zoe, Zoe, um, Zoe comes home um, after not getting that big promotion, and she was she got de de um, demoted to interview casting. Um, where she looked at the tapes and stuff like that for um, Love Recharge or whatever the hell the damn show called again. I forgot what the fuck she was called. But, um, so she gets home, she gets a package, she, she gets a package from Quinn, and Quinn, you know, shows her the new tech, the tech see-through clear phone, I mean, sure, alright, cool, Quinn created this awesome phone, um, she's a successful businesswoman, um, for technologies and, and scientific achievements and stuff like that, which, I expect it, but I have to. We, like, can we talk about how Aaron? If, if you guys watch the movie, because um, I don't know if I'm, I don't know if I'm putting any clips or anything, because I don't want to be copyrighted. Because you know, neither here nor there, and Lord knows I don't have time to be sitting down trying to edit shit out for um, YouTube. But anyway, Aaron Andrews, I believe, is her name. Um, I hope I said her name right, um, correctly. Play Quinn. When I tell you. She had the biggest upgrade out of everybody. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that little dirty girl that y'all saw in Zoe 101? <laughs> With the glasses and the, 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 you know, whatever. Nope, that's not, that's not her. She is drop dead gorgeous. Drop dead gorgeous. All right. <laughs> everybody, uh, well, um, I think her, Matthew Underwood, you know, they all, them two, you know, completely like upgraded on everybody else. But everybody that was there, because you had Stacy and you had the guy who played Mark. Um, you had um, Michael, of course, Chase, Zoe themselves, and you know they all look like they're tired. <laughs> they, that's the problem. You, you know, if y'all was gonna come back for this revival series, you should have you should have went to the gym for a couple of days, uh, make yourself at least look. You know what I'm saying? Especially Zoe. Zoe look like Zoe look like she done went through hell and back. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, damn girl. You know, but anyway. Apparently Quinn Quinn is telling her, like, hey, you know, I got here's this new cell phone. Um, it's not even out yet, but at the same time, I want you to like be my maid of honor. And we find and, and of course, you know, Zoe agreed because, you know, she was on a date and that's another thing. Um, she was like, when we get in our 30s, everybody want to get married and all that kind of stuff or whatever. And while she was kind of ranting about that, Quinn sends her the invite of, you know, be her maid of honor because Logan proposed to Quinn and Quinn said yes, which is it's great that at least somebody in the cast, some people in the cast moved the fuck on. You know what I'm saying? Oh, and they do, they do mention um, Dustin even though he wasn't, he's not there, or whatever, they do mention Dustin, uh, which, it is kind of weird that Dustin still, well, not really, but at least they should have had, like, some kind of scene with Dustin in there, um, green screen it, where, you know, he was, you know, he, him, he was with his, he was with his wife and, and kids, because they, um, do say that he's, um, he has, he has a wife and kid, and he's expecting some more babies or something like that, you know what I'm saying, like, you know, um, could have called, could have called his sister and was like, hey, you know, um, how's the job thing going? Just to have like a little one scene and the same thing for like Victoria Justice, even if she didn't um, be in the movie, I would have wanted them to at least, you know, green screen, give a read, you know, why like she could have, um, Lola could have been like, oh, um, she can be a, a actress or something like that. And that's why she couldn't show up or whatever, like, she'll be like, my, um, send my love and kisses to, um, Quinn and, you know, Quinn and, um, and Logan, 
and stuff like that. But I am, I'm, you know, I'm out of the country and I am um, filming a movie or something like that. That would have been a little bit more, um, would have been a little bit more special. Um, just to, you know what I'm saying? Because I know she said she couldn't come back or whatever or time, whatever, something like that. But what I'm saying is at least do the green screen thing and then that way even if they don't really see Zoe you can still have um, you can still have Jamie Lynn Spears character Zoe you know talk to them and have you know what I'm saying have a, have a moment or whatever to explain you know stuff or whatever um, and then we come to find out that Zoe's a uh, recluse after after breaking up with Chase um, leaving him in Hawaii which that, that, that made her look even terrible like as a character I was like what the fuck why would you even do this to Zoe? Like Zoe, Zoe was um had some moments, but to invite Chase to to Hawaii and then leave him because you were nervous that y'all relationship might not work or whatever it just it just made absolutely no logical sense. But um ever since ever since that that thing happened, she kind of been a recluse. She barely shows up around with her friends. Um and I'm talking about. Like she has not moved on from high school at all. Like everybody, even though they, they even though they all, um, her friends, they see each other like frequently or whatever and stuff like that. They hang out, they talk or whatever. They all message each other. They be trying to get her to come, but she just puts all her time and effort into work because you know independent woman don't need no man kind of thing or whatever. Or she think it's good to throw herself into work because she wanted this big promotion or whatever but it's like girl if you got friends that are trying to hang out with you or whatever you you need to make some time make time that's the that's a that's one big lesson to take away from the movie is make time for your family and friends do not let work consume you um and it's coming from somebody who who do let work consume a lot of their time, but at the same time, I don't really have to worry about like, oh my God, my high school friends and college friends or whatever and stuff like that because, you know, most of them don't really contact me um, any, anyway. But I'm just saying, if I had friends that do contact me or whatever, I would try my best to... I'm not saying we got to see each other every day, but, you know, try to keep, keep um, connected as best as we can um which is something that black folks need to work on because we are terrible at that neither here nor there but i'm just saying anyway <laughs> so zoe decides to check out everybody's profiles and see how life is going uh, things are going great from everybody's perspective um chase is a teacher um stacy and mark um, uh, they got married who would have thought they got married and um they work on this podcast that's um uh, one of the number one one of the number one murder mystery podcasts um and they're working on a case about the malibu killer um but they but they're together um you know michael is michael um i think he does like some kind of entertainment thing or whatever um i forgot what he does in the thing um and of course like i said Logan is rich, is a rich businessman, so I guess he took over his father's company. And Quinn is a successful um, tech um, businesswoman, which, okay, great. But, um, like I said before, it's just kind of weird because, you know, um, now that she's off the show, Zoe was like, okay, I'll go and be the maid of honor for Quinn and stuff like that because I ain't got nothing else. Then all of a sudden, the moronic boy that she was helping he was he at like he can't say lines do nothing without zoe being around so now she's back on but the live finale get this conveniently is at the same time quinn and logan's mary marriage is happening and zoe was like okay i can do both i can do it or whatever stuff like that now that you know now that quinn now that quinn and um now that quinn made her the maid of honor she shows up um, which surprises um, Stacy because you know Stacy talked about like how they've been trying to invite um, Zoe around for a long time and she still hasn't showed up or anything. So it's like uh, you know it's it, it's whatever. Uh, but you know to prove that she that she 
has uh, moved on from Chase or whatever, and she got a great life. She decides to use her power of authority to um, look at people's uh, audition tapes, hires a random guy, um, and gets her to be her boyfriend that's from, what, that's from Australia, I believe. He's from Australia, and then he does... He's a he's a surgeon or whatever and stuff like that and you you know that that kind of nonsense. Um, they get to the wedding. Chase sees Zoe and oh recreates the whole oh oh god are you okay Chase you know that kind of shit. Chase introduced Zoe to his girlfriend and Zoe introduced um him to the boyfriend and um she she you know she since she's the maid of honor and also working at the same time she has to hear what that loser boy boy um done said or whatever so she rushes back to where he's at because she done got the she done got the self-driving electric car or whatever and stuff like that it it, 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 it just it, it who cares who who really cares the whole competition is um if they 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 want that car or they want each other it mm, who cares but anyway she gets there, she realizes that the loser boy done cut his hair because he saw one gray, so he tried to bleach his hair, but he bleached it orange, now he cut it, and it is just nonsense, so she had to try to convince the the um, her boss that it's a good thing, we're going to make it work or whatever and stuff like that, and then she leaves, go back to the wedding, um, everybody's having a fun time, they go karaoke in. Um, Quinn just want to have fun. She thinks this is too much for the wedding because, you know, Quinn doesn't want this big extravagant thing. But Logan was like, no, she don't need this. She um, says she did a good job. She's been working really hard. He wants to celebrate her for the week. But you know how Logan is, right? <laughs> but um, anyway, anyway, um, they, they go to karaoke chase kind of gets jealous or whatever he's like i'm not i'm not here um i don't give a damn about zoe and whatever and stuff like that and him and that um him and zoe's fake boyfriend they do a duet together and you know that that happens um zoe has to go and get the rings resized i mean you know pick up the rings from quint for quinn and logan and again shenanigans ensue where um, the the self driving car traps her and Chase in there, and they have this long awkward drive or whatever. And because he didn't want to talk about it, she was trying to apologize and stuff like that. But you know, eh, it's whatever, pretty much. Um, Michael lost his voice from singing so much. Um, the jewelers think that Zoe and um, Chase are the bride and groom, and they're like they ain't going nowhere until you know, Zoe and Chase talk about what's going on or whatever, and they kind of explain their love story to them, to the jewelers, and then Jules like, oh, okay, but you got to kiss. Knowing that they don't feel comfortable with each other, they kiss just to get the rings, and then they run out, they escape, they get back in the electric car, they talk about their feelings and stuff like that. She apologizes for what she did to him in Hawaii. They have, They share a passionate kiss. And everything's going good until the car stops because Zoe, like a stupid idiot, forgot to recharge the damn car because she forgot that the electric car needs charging. Oh, my God. How stupid can you get, girl? So anyway, her and Chase, they lose signal, so they couldn't call anybody. So now they had to they had to run back to the wedding. Um, But at the same time, the live stream is um the the live broadcasting of love recharge is happening so she starts to work but she can't make it because the car is down so she's going to try to work and do quinn's wedding at the same time shenanigans ensue because stacy thinks that um you know zoe's new boyfriend is the malibu killer they um that that gets even crazier and Quinn realized that Zoe's working because Zoe told her like the truth is, no, he's not the killer. He's my he's the boy he's my boyfriend. I paid for um uh, paid for to you know try to show you guys that I'm you know doing great or fine or whatever. Um, Quinn is just over his shit. She's she's upset that you know that Zoe 
would lie to her. She's upset that Logan didn't listen to her about not wanting this big extravagant wed wedding. She calls off the wedding and, you know, um, Zoe and Chase feel like it's their fault since they, you know, kind of kind of messed up earlier in the day or whatever and zoe was like hey i got we gotta we gotta get quinn and logan back together um and they decided to go to pca oh by the way pca um lost accreditation a long time ago because the dean was embezzling money so yeah you know way to ruin that for us as well um they go back to pca they fix up pca because it's been abandoned or whatever um they fix up PCA as a wedding uh, venue and, uh, because that was like the best time in their life, high school. You know what I'm saying? Uh, apparently, high school was the was the peak for most of these motherfuckers. But um, Logan convinces Quinn to talk to him. He apologizes for everything. He just said he did. He just thought that she, um, since she means the world to him, he wanted to show her how special it was. Um, and of course they did that. I love Quinn Pinsky and I love Logan Reese. And, you know, um, he surprises her with a trip down to PCA or whatever. They have this coat. They have her, her old school, um, lab coat as kind of like her little dress. She kind of wraps it around her and stuff like that. And they get married and have a receptionist, um, chase tell him that his girlfriend that he brought, uh, they broke up a long time ago, but he didn't want to show up to the wedding by himself because he was trying to make Zoe realize that he had moved on, but he really hasn't moved on neither. They finally, um, decided that they're going to give themselves a shot and chase is going to transfer to, um, schools here in California. Um, and they end up kissing. Logan and um, Quinn gets married. Mark tries to have a, a dig at um, Logan. Was like, ah, you married my my sloppy seconds because I had her first or whatever. But it's just like, yeah, but you're married. You married to Stacy or whatever. And Stacy's kind of kind of an abusive wife to Mark, honestly. Um, and at the end of the movie, Zoe's fake boyfriend is the Malibu killer, and then it goes off yay oh and um before that she um the live stream goes completely the live show goes completely off off the wall but because of it being unpredictable and because it's being it was uh one of the highest ratings zoe gets uh, a promotion she gets a new corner office she gets double her salary and they fire craig and all ends well with that show yay and that's it for zoe 102 when I tell you that was a bunch of nothing, it was a bunch of nothing. Honestly, it really even shouldn't have even been about Zoe, honestly. It really should have been about Logan and Quinn because it seems like Logan and Quinn were the only ones that kind of moved, you know, past high school. The um, Stacy, Stacy and them don't really have any... Um, Stacy and Mark were side characters, so I don't really count them. But it, it was more disappointing to see that Zoe and Chase didn't go nowhere and that's the main thing that you want us to focus on but you should have came up with a better better idea with that one i would have preferred like zoe being pregnant at the same time that quinn is getting married because she couldn't you know what i'm saying everything kind of kind of happened right there the anniversary of of the proposal or something like that the marriage date was already set um zoe is probably going into labor you know something like that but she wants to still be there for quinn but knowing that she you know at a risk with her pregnancy shenanigans ensues or whatever stuff like that that would have been kind of cool and then if you brought in maybe some children kind of that kind of gives a little bit more shenanigan nonsense to where things can happen i, I mean to see that chasing um zoe been holding this in for like 20 years was it, it's kind of pathetic honestly it, it, it just i don't know it, it it just wasn't that great of a movie and um yeah um just just watch zoe 101 end it there pretend like ain't zoe 102 didn't happen um or you know in your own fanfic mind um zoe and chase are married living happily together maybe in um bringing in um a new baby or something like that logan and and quinn are together lola is a famous singer or actress michael is um doing amazing um producing a producer and a rapper or whatever something like that comedian or something like that um 
what's her name? Um, Dana is probably a top WNBA player. Um, Nicole is probably married um, with this um, this gorgeous multi billionaire guy or something like that. So she got with a guy. You know what I'm saying? Like something. Um, I don't know. Mm, would I really suggest you watching it? Not really. Not really, but if you want to kind of see the Zoe 101 cast again, go for it. But at the same time, it's just not worth it, honestly. Um, but yeah, those are my thoughts. Tell me what you guys think in the comments below, and I'll catch you guys later. Peace out.